Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Regina Craft. Um, I wanted to talk about the rent video I made. This is basically a follow up to that video I made a week ago, ranting about the state of art, the state of hobbies, and how consumerism and uh, elitism basically gatekeeping people from expressing themselves and uh, how people, instead of empowering and educating, trying to take advantage of people who are trying to get into a hobby or trying to learn or uh, trying to find their way to express themselves. Now, it's 7 a.m. in the morning, and uh, a few days ago, YouTube has picked up that video and just ran with it, right? And it went viral. It went crazy viral, and I got tens of thousands of views on that video, which is insane because I, I just can't fathom that number. And I got several hundred people subscribed to this little tiny <laughs> video with every channel and and I got so many so many comments agreeing with me and 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 hundreds of you telling me their stories of struggle of finding their way of being gatekept and and how hard was it to to actually get their foot wet in epoxy or woodworking or any sort of art. And it really touched me. And um, what I really want to say is I'm, I'm eternally grateful to you guys because I never thought, I never thought I'm going to bring some value to this fucking world. Honest to God. I struggled. A lot with this um but anyway what i'm trying to say is uh many of you expressed in the comments that you want to see more experiments with uh, different colors of different ways of color your epoxy and many of you sh shared your own experiences and your own experiments and Dude, like under the video, we started to have an extra, like, like, like a whole discussion between, between all of us makers that, hey, this works for me. Uh, does anyone know what works for, uh, how, how, uh, alcohol dyes work? And, and, uh, hey, anyone else tried nail polish before? And it goes, yeah, I tried nail polish. It works. And I'm just reading the comments and I'm like, holy shit. Like, like we got together and we are sharing experiences and, and helping each other. Dude, it felt so good. Mm. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm sorry. Coffee starting to kick in. Um, so many of you asked if I can uh, test different dyes, test different uh, coloring methods of epoxy to show you how it works. And... Uh, to that, I would answer that yes, I would love to try some of them or most of them. And uh, also, I would like to collect all these amazing tips and, and comments you left under the video and make a whole video out of it where I basically read up uh, the experiment, the result, by whom and uh, share it with you guys so you don't have to like digest through th literally like several hundreds of comments just to find that uh, that solution for that specific problem. Oh my God, the lighting is so fun. Sorry, it's early in the morning, the sun doesn't shine in and they look like I'm from a grave. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, maybe I fixed the post, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so that's one thing many of you want to see coloring and how to how to deal with colors, and uh, yeah, I can I can I can do that. A lot of you asked about epoxies, 
and resins and uh, different kind of resins, different ways uh, of sourcing them and uh, how to get them cheap. Now, epoxy is a collective word uh, to to liquid polymers bonding into a solid polymer, right? And resins are two part uh, plastics. Please don't quote me in the comments. I'm seven in the morning and I'm trying to get my thoughts together on this. Um, I will probably make a video on this, uh, on different kind of epoxies, different kind of resins, what to do with them, how to use them, what's good for what. I wanna extend, because there are many great videos on YouTube explaining you how to do resin, what percentage you use and, and how to read the label and what chemical compound and safety regulations and all that shit. There are several on YouTube on that. I want to dwell, dwell deep dive into um, what are other epoxies on the market. For example, can you use a floor epoxy in, in your art? Can you use a roofing, uh, roof ceiling epoxy? Can you use automotive epoxy? Can you use boating epoxy? Can you use polyurethane resin? What are the differences? How do they react? What precautions you need to do? And all of that jazz. I will make a video on this, but this is going to take time because I don't want to talk out of my ass. I don't want to spread bullshit just for sake of views. All right. So, and this is a sensitive subject because if you fuck up, you could literally fucking kill yourself. Okay. Like with chemical bursts and all that shit. So, I want to research that stuff before I say anything. All right. Uh, rest assured, boating epoxies and car uh, automotive epoxies are safe for epoxy art. Or epoxy woodworking because the entire hobby grew out of it okay and most of the american and canadian dudes are using total boat and i am using a german brand automotive epoxy right and pretty much most of us in europe using this shit and let me tell you in greece they do boating epoxy too but it's called marcola and this is some it's made here, made in Greece, and it's just hard to read the manual because it's Greek and I'm like, it's like I read it on a first grade level. So anyway, rambling again. Um, so yeah, many of you wanted that, and uh, and I just got a lot of encouragement to keep on carrying on and uh, and keep making stuff and keep making these videos. And uh, I'm a little bit shell shocked, to be honest, because I usually just uh, just make a video about what's in my mind at the moment, you know, and uh, just blood. I, I made a video, but now you guys expect stuff from me. You're expecting something from me, and it's uh, it's uh, um, it's, I'm a little bit. Like, you know, like, what I'm trying to say is that I want to, I want to do what you like, but I still want to do what I like, and I want these two to match. Makes sense. I don't want to turn this into work and just, just pushing for the numbers and pushing for, pushing for acceptance and shit. You came here because, um, I'm a hundred percent real and no bullshit, and I want to keep it that way. But I still want to involve you in the creation. So, if you could leave it in the comments, what you would like to see here on this channel, that would be great. Um, let me know what you think about a weekly digest when I just go through the comments and tips and advices what our fellow makers leave under the under the videos and uh, and yeah if you have some 
ideas for video series or ideas for things we should do together. Like, uh, you guys give me ideas to experiment with and I do the experimentation of video just to have it documented for future generations who come into a hobby and we don't want them to hurt themselves or, you know, or, or just lose or waste their money or whatever. That would be great, honestly. And, uh, yeah, just to just to respond to the comments. Every single one of you, I read every single comment and I responded to every single comment. I know YouTubers don't do that because, oh my God, so many people, so many comments. I, I will, in the future, probably there will be enough comments that I, I just can't read all of them. But right now I can, every single one of them. And I responded to every single one of them too, because I've been raised that way. Um, one of you have mentioned that uh, I shouldn't rant and uh, I shouldn't speak up against uh, channels who make money and uh, they're educating. And I shouldn't talk about uh, epoxy and mold and resins and I shouldn't Basically, I should shut the fuck up and leave and get back to my previous job if I had any. That was the only uh, critical comment I got. And most of the comments was really cool because so it was basically 99% of informative data uh, in depth on how to how to use proper protection what chemicals you should use, you shouldn't use in epoxy, how to do epoxy and everything. And the, the last bits were like blaming me, why am I not so enough in depth and why am I ranting about other makers who try to make a living? Look, dude, I am, I never expected that I will make a, a, uh, tutorial training YouTube channel. Okay, this rant was from my heart when I was searching for information and I just had enough of it. I did enough of hunting, okay? And this was the rant. And you're right. When I explain stuff about epoxies and chemicals and materials and how to use them and how deep to dig it and all that, I should explain uh precautions and everything about it because right now actually it was a great comment because it showed me the the guy showed me that right now people are watching people are listening and i am responsible for them because they will do as i as i say they, they will do what i show them and if i don't tell them that yo do put up eye protection and don't put too deep because it will explode and uh, and the hot epoxy will explode into your eye or onto your skin and it will give you burns and you have to get skin grafts and all that. I get you and I 100% agree with you. I should do that in the future. Why you don't see those kind of things on this channel? Because this channel was never meant to be like that. This channel was just a, just a documentary telling you guys about how my project is going. Or basically, it was just just to keep track for myself in the future when I would have watch it back, because I I never thought anyone would watch. So that's why you don't see those in depth stuff here, yeah. But if you guys want to see it, I can make it. You know, I can go in depth. Um, regarding the personal insult that I should go back to my day job and I should leave this place. Uh, immediately and forever. Hey, I was here first. Uh, everybody's free to leave. I'm not forcing everybody, anybody to, to watch my stuff. Okay? I'm just a simple dude trying to make nice shit for other people and I just record how I do it, you know, and I share my experiences. And if you like it, hey, you're welcome to watch. If you don't like it, there are many other people who do this professionally. There are many other people who do this much better than I do. And there are many other people who, who can give you a full in-depth explanation 
but it, you know, some of them are not even pitching their own stuff, right? Some of them are just doing it because they like to educate, because they're makers like I am. I don't say I'm the only one, okay? <sighs> anyway, um, so yeah, this was the this was the first and only comment when someone told me I should I should shut the fuck up and just get back to my day job and 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 the vet, the world would be better off if I am not here and and uh, sharing my dangerous views with other people because I could I could uh, cause them harm and all that. And I know big YouTubers say you shouldn't read comments, but I like to read comments because 90% of this comment was perfect, uh, how do you say it, constructive criticism. He basically gave me the viewpoint that, yo, dude, you're responsible for what you say because other people are going to do what you say. Make sure they don't hurt themselves. And, yo, dude, I'm eternally grateful for that. Okay, for for opening my eyes for this. So, yeah, but you don't have to be that mean. Like, you know, don't be an asshole. Just, just tell me, you know, just tell me that, hey, dude, like, make sure you tell them, don't mix epoxy with, I don't know, C4 or whatever. Just, just don't eat epoxy. Okay, just, just make sure you tell them. That's nice. That's that's good. That's constructive. That that's something I can work with. That will build this community. That will build me. That would build me. Help me to grow. So yeah. Um. Anyway, I just, I just wanted to get this out of my mind again. Uh, what else I wanted to say? Um. Yes, I wanted to say that. I, I, I noticed that we we starting to have a community here of artists and makers who are either just starting out or have been burned by the elitist consumerism of this hobby or uh, people who gave up or people who were close to give up and uh, I see that there's thousands of us here and uh, if you entrust me with this, I would love to take up the mantle of being our voice between ourselves. So, all I mean, all, all, what I mean by this is, uh, if you want to share something with the community, or if you want to share some experience or some something you think other makers would benefit from please do let me know drop me an email i'll have my email address somewhere here or just leave a comment or or you know just let me know okay and uh, i would be happy to make a video out of it not make a video out of it but when i'm making a video i, I would be happy to share it with the others uh, if you want, uh, I can do it anonymously or share your name or, you know, whatever. You, you let me know what you want, right? What I'm trying to say is, uh, I want us to have our voice heard and I want us to stick together and help each other because together we are stronger. From Nepal to Arizona, we exist, you know, we are here. And uh, um, I would be happy to add something to this community. So yeah, without me crying, uh, thank you very much for everything I got from you guys last week. Thank you very much for all the positive messages, and um, thank you very much for for being wholesome. One thing I can promise to you, and I solemnly swear that. I will be a hundred percent real with you forever. I will never force anything down on you. I will never 
trying to secretly sell you any kind of shit or whatever. I will be who I am because this is who I am. I swear to you that this won't change because this is why you're here and this is why I'm here. Thanks very much for watching and uh, I hope you're gonna have a great rest of your week. Keep experimenting, keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.